Hello, I'm Zach. Uh, today we're on board. Long transatlantic flight on American Airlines, the 777-200 uh, between Miami, Florida, and London, I keep throw England in C-36A on the window. I'm going to try my best to give a uh, full experience of this uh, flight. Um, the amenities on the plane, meal service, and uh, uh, other features. We can see in the seat in front of us also too that there is a PTV, uh, some audio files, videos, TV shows, and movies to choose from. Flight to London Heathrow is calling for a uh, very smooth one. No, the wind is in our favor, so it should be a very smooth flight across the Atlantic. Uh, we are going to be heading up all the way to Washington, New York, and over Nova Scotia. Uh, and then we cross the Atlantic right in o all the way to Ireland and then on to London. 25 minutes after takeoff. Flight attendants will come around serving a beverage of your choice, however it will not be a full can. It will just be a cup. A uh, full can will come al along with the dinner service. As you can see here, there is just a cup. Dinner service, uh, I had the pasta, you could have had pasta or beef, well, I chose pasta with uh, uh, crackers, a salad, and a cookie with a bottle of water. Uh, it wasn't too much, but I do have to say it uh, was a pretty good meal. And also there is a full can this time, and I had a full can of ginger ale. Some amenities that they ha give you are uh, on board, should I say, are a blanket and a pillow that should keep you pretty snug. Also in the back of the plane, as I like to call it, there is a little walk-up bar with gourmet snacks with pretzels and other uh, chips in there. In the back, a bottle of water. Uh, a gallon of water and some apple juice and a carton should you get hungry or thirsty during the flight. One suggestion I would have on these long transatlantic flights is you should get up and walk every now and then to keep your butt get your blood flowing through your body again because sitting in a uh, seat for that long can make your feet fall asleep sometimes. We also ran into some rough air uh, right after we left Nova Scotia. Uh, it didn't actually stop until the next morning until we got into Ireland. Uh, on these long transatlantic flights, since you are going up all the way north, uh, I would suggest keep your window closed the night before because the sun will start to come up at 2 a.m. Uh, American's flagship light breakfast consisted of a croissant, a blueberry yogurt, and orange juice. It wasn't that bad. Uh, descending into London, uh, it was pretty foggy. Uh, another recommendation I would have for you is that if you're getting in to London and you have a connecting flight, be sure to uh, have at least two hours in between your flight because you may end up losing your flight if you do not have two hours in between or more in between. Let's say if you're on American Airlines flight from New York to London and then you have to take a British Airways flight to and you have to fly British Airways, well, those are in two different terminals and you may end up losing your flight if you don't have enough time because Heathrow is a massive airport. See the V 
various airlines at Terminal 3, uh, American Airlines, Virgin Atlantic, uh, and Air Canada. We're uh, taking the uh, stairs up to baggage claim and passport control. I want to thank you for watching my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next uh, flight report experience when we go to Istanbul, Turkey. Thanks for watching.